hello there! This home is in moving in condition. This is a 4-room BTO built-in size of 1,001 square feet. You will quickly notice this dark grey... Again, we are back here in Yishun. For you guys out there, if you are looking for a 4-room HDB within the younger cluster of Yishun town itself, then you're gonna like this one. Stay tuned with me and let's kickstart the home tour right now. Dual Spring at Yishun is a BTO project with a total of 7 blocks and 864 units consisting of 2, 3 and 4 rooms. It was completed in year 2013 with a good balance lease of 90 years. Now let's talk about the unit here. We are at block 457. If you want to look at this block specifically, this is the smallest block. Only 6 units per level and all units are purely 4 room as compared to the rest that has a mixture of sizes. So great for people who wish to stay in an estate of a lower density. Alright, a quick run through on the orientation here. Let's pull out the floor plan. This is a 4 room BTO with built-in size of 1001 square feet or 93 square meter with all rooms nicely intact. 2 bathroom, living and dining space, a kitchen with a service yard at the back and we are also north-south facing ensuring that there is no direct afternoon sun coming into the unit. So as you step into the house, you will quickly notice this dark greyish glazed porcelain flooring which is really eye-catching and this actually blends well with the rest of the interior. Household shelter on my right which is so useful as a storage for less frequently used items. So just next to it, you have a full height cabinet which means you will have a lot of storages and it will come in handy as you stay on. Coming to the living hall, see this wall here? The owner has customized this entire like a showpiece feature wall using craft stone so creating a twist of a rugged feel and the neutral warm tonality theme that matches so nicely with the TV console and even the sofa set as well as the coffee table. So you know that there are cats here, so there's actually three, but I think they all have went into hiding somewhere. And you take a look at this one, this is very cute, this cat house is very cute. You see, destinated lot for the cat house. Okay, enough of the cute camping tent. Let's touch on a little about our location and what's coming your way here in Yishun. We are located at the intersection of Yishun Ring Road and Yishun Street 41. So transportation wise, you have two North South Line train station, Yishun MRT and Khatib MRT. Both are just a couple of bus stops away. And something to look forward to here will be the North South Corridor, which is currently underway and expected to complete in year 2027. So featuring dedicated bus lanes, cycling routes and pedestrian paths spanning 21.5 km connects you to the city centre region. This will also elevate traffic on the CTE for a smoother and faster journey. Amenities nearby, just a 5 minutes walk away to block 675, you have a coffee shop, bakery and sing shop. 8 minutes walk away, you have more options on coffee shop, supermarkets like Giant and NTUC and even traditional web market for the freshest ingredients. Or for foodies out there, Yishun Hawker Centre is only less than 10 minutes walk away. Schools in this area, you have Northland Primary, Kwaming Primary, Naval Base Primary, Northland Secondary, Okipak Secondary and Chongchen High. Over at the dining space here, the current setup is a rectangular 4-seater. It can also accommodate a round table. With this decorative looking hanging light, it gives the entire space a sense of balance and symmetry. You have a nice pocket space here, so you can choose to place a credenza here for storage or display of some nice china ware. In this kitchen itself, you see a different colour tone. So white tone cabinetry over this black solid surface countertop. You have an open fire stove here, a hook, top and bottom cabinetry on both sides and you have a dish rack over here for all your dishes. Okay, so counter space is very sufficient here for food preparation or if you have something that looks like this professional looking coffee machine, you can place them in as well and you have a fridge over this side. 
over at the back, you have your service yard which is a good space to have as a segregation between your laundry and your cooking space. Okay, now let's take a look at the rest of the interior. Alongside the bedrooms, you will have the common bathroom. It has been kept in a very simple condition. Some shelving has been put up and shower curb has been done. So if you want to add on with a shower screen, that you can easily do so. Alright, welcome back to the third bedroom. This is used as a home office for the owners and there's currently two working desks and this very shook secret lab chair and some stuff over the other side but once these are removed, more space will be freed up so if you're planning to put in a queen size bed, that is possible no building carpentry and aircons are installed for all the three bedrooms and even the living and dining hall so you can save some hassle going through the dusty installation process and this second bedroom, before I show you the inside, it's a bit over cluttered. A mirror image of bedroom 3, bare with no building carpentry. So maybe we'll just take a quick glance through. Ready for some stuff? Okay, our final room. Yay, the master room. So we check out the bathroom first. Full vanity cabinet with solid surface countertop. Mirror storage cabinet for your toiletries and some open shelvings. Shower screen has been put up to keep the area dry. Okay, moving on to the rest of the room. This room is sectioned up into a wardrobe and resting area. So the first thing you will see once you step in is this walk-in closet. Your clothing section will be on one side so you will see everything you have at a glance. The resting area is also kept very simple queen-size bed and a TV console right in front and movement space is still very acceptable. Okay, these are movable furniture and will be removed upon handing the keys to you. Over on your side as a new owner, probably what you will need to do will be just painting and you can straight away bring in your furniture. Overall, this home is in moving in condition and if you're a family of 4 to 5 person, I think this is the perfect size for you. So we have come to the end of our home tour today. Do get in touch with us to view this property. And if you have yet to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please do so because we will be coming up with more interesting home tour. And if you are also selling your property and would like yours to be featured on our YouTube channel and social media platform for maximum exposure, Welcome to Enquire with us. Our contacts are at the end of the video. Alright guys, thank you for staying to the end. I'm Maggie from HYMK Property Place. See you in our next video. It was completed in year 2013 with a good balance lease, good balance lease of 90 years. This is the smallest block, block. This is the smallest block. So household shelter on my right, which is so useful as a storage for the rest, for the less frequently used items. Two bed, two bathroom, living and dining space. So as you step into the house, you will quickly notice this dark grey. What ah? Once these are removed, more space will be freed up. Freed up, so freed up, freed up. So these are movable furniture. So these are movable. These are movable. <laughs> Move over, move over, move over.